Hi everyone, in the last video we added the torso and the head. In this video uh, I'm hoping to get the, the arm and hopefully this arm too and then we can move on to some more uh, advanced stuff. So let's go. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually going to add this uh, clavicle first. So we'll add this as a sphere and scale this down and go into constraint mode and I'm not really sure why this is uh, all the way over here, so I'll bring it over there. Uh, and I'm not quite sure on what the, the motion is. I guess this is like a shoulder. So let's start by locking everything. Hit simulate uh, and do this. So that doesn't really look right to me, so I think uh, probably want this to be uh, a bit more this way. Uh, again, I apologize for being a programmer, not a, an actual artist that is good at this sort of thing. Um, so one thing that you can see here is that the arm gets uh, shot back quite fast. Um, let me just see why that is. And and that's this is kind of what I meant where it's there's some value I guess in seeing me do the whole thing because you run into these little problems. Uh, oh actually that seems to be okay. So Okay, I'm just gonna leave that look at. Uh, now let's go back and do the other motion. So simulate it. Okay, so now th this is the same problem that we had before. So uh, if I change the mode here and I turn this on, you can see, oops, and I turn on constraints. You can see that uh, I'm actually not, I'm not reaching all the way to the bottom. And the reason is you can see that this uh, clavicle is actually hitting this this guy. So let's let's change that. So if I go back into the bodies, uh, yeah, and you can see that I have this selected, but this over here is, is purple. So uh, if I select both of these, and I turn this off. And obviously, you don't want to just turn collision off for everything, because otherwise, you know, your hand would be able to go through your your leg and, and stuff like that. But uh, So now, okay, if I do that, yeah, now I can go all the way. So that's what we want. Um, okay, so I'm just going to turn this back on so we can see what this looks like. Uh, sorry. Okay, so now uh, that doesn't really look right, but I think I'm gonna go with it just because I don't want to spend too much too much time on this. Um, yeah, you can see that the the way the skinning is done here, this is actually moving up and down. Uh, probably some artist is gonna get really mad at me for doing it like this, but. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with it. So let's add more bodies. Uh, if we go to the... It helps to clean some of this up. Okay, so we have the clavicle, we want the upper arm. Uh, we add this fill. We'll rotate this and scale it. I keep saying some artist, but I know exactly which artist it's going to be. Uh, okay, so I actually think that the upper arm, uh, you probably want it to be fully locked. You don't want it to move. So uh, let me turn this on. So if I simulate this now, uh, oh, and sorry, I should turn on the full range. Yeah, so. So it looks like something is hitting here. Um, let me just turn this back on. Constraints, off limits. So it looks like the bodies are hitting. 
Um, yeah, so let me actually turn collision off between these two. And now, if I click here. Yeah, okay, that, that's much better. So now I can actually get the full range. Um, so let's just see what this looks like. Turn this on. Turn this off. Okay, so this looks okay. I, I realize this part is not great, but it's fine. Uh, okay, so now let's go here and add the lower arm and rotate it. And I like adding this part of the arm because it's just a simple elbow, so I know exactly how it moves. Uh, let me scale this. And go into constraint mode. And lock everything. And now I hit one. Uh, actually, one, one thing I want to show you is uh, if you hit Q, so right now you can see the yellow lines going through here. If you hit Q, it'll actually switch between different axes. So uh, I don't need to use this here because it's already doing the right thing, but just something to, to be aware of. So anyway, the elbow, uh, you can only go in this way, but I think you can go more than that. So let's do this. So now I hit simulate. I can go all the way there. And uh, that's pretty good. So. Now we just need to add the arm. Uh, go back into body mode. Add the hand. Um, I'm just going to use a box for this. And let me stretch this. Okay. And uh, I also like I like all the simple bones. I know exactly what they do. So this one. Um, okay, so I guess that the the palm is this the right movement for the palm. We'll go like that. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, let me go back to this one. That seems a little bit too much to me. So make it twenty-five. And now let's let's put bo both of these back on. And now we have the full range of motion. Uh, so let's just see here, if we go back to body mode um, and simulate. So I like I like playing with no gravity, It's I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, the, the hand is, is looking okay. Let's just turn gravity on now. And Seems okay. So uh, let me let me just quickly do this for the other side. Um, okay. So we'll have a sphere. And scale it. And constrain it. And again, uh, not really sure why that's there. I'm going to move it over here. Um, and I'm just going to copy this guy. Uh, but I can see that the, the rotation I have here is different. So the yellow is going this way, but over here it's going that way. So I'm going to hold Alt and move it this way. And hopefully this is what I need. Uh, let me just turn gravity off. Oh yeah, and, and so now we have the same issue that we had before where the collision of the body is, is interfering. So uh, I go back to body mode, and I click on this, and you can see that this is purple here. So uh, I select both of them and go collision off. And hopefully that'll fix my problem. Yeah, so this is looking better. Um, that looks fine. So let's go back. Let's add the upper arm and scale it. Uh, 
And I'm actually gonna add the lower arm as well. So let me just go into constraint mode, and now uh, I can just copy this guy, control C, control V, and this guy, control C, this guy, control V. But you can see that the, the rotation here is, is wrong, so uh, if I click on this, uh, actually we can try this Q trick, let's see if that works. No, so the options that it's giving me aren't, aren't what I want, so I'm just going to hold Alt and rotate it this. Uh, actually, that's, that's still not what I want, so I want it to be like this way. Uh, and then I, I need to rotate the actual constraint back this way. And okay, so now that, I copy, control V, and if I hit Q, it uh, doesn't give me what I want, so let me just hold Alt and bring it this way. Okay, and uh, I also recall that before I had to turn the collision off between this and this, so let me just do that. Collision off, and now if I click on this, I go select simulation. This part seems right. Um, yeah, the hand hand looks okay. So let's try this. The elbow looks weird though. Where does it? Looks like. Uh, I'll try just the clavicle, so selected simulation, simulate. Oh, this, this seems okay. Um, let me turn the crab down. Oh, okay, so that, that looks weird. That doesn't go down enough. So actually, I want to turn collision off between this and that. So now, if I turn this on, it looks a little bit better. Still, it's still not great, but I'm, I'm not going to bother fixing this right now. Um, so let's see what the whole thing looks like. So it looks okay. I mean, uh, obviously this would be much better if it was done by an artist than by me, but I think uh, you, you get the general idea. So in the next video, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the way you can blend animation and physics together. So hope you stay tuned for that. Thanks, bye.